We're reaching depths of nigh on 6,000 lakes, Captain. Aye, oh, and we take this earth of as far as we can go, Mr. McDuff. Like a captain who's obsessed with the ocean, I'm obsessed with sandwiches. And it's a sub-roll week, y'all. Or do you call it a hoogie roll? First things first, it's a baking week, so we measure with a scale. And this calls for 280 grams of warm whole milk, and 8 grams or one packagey thingy of Mr. Yeast, famously giving out tons of money to all the baked goods for seemingly no reason other than to just be nice. I don't get why people get so upset over it myself. This is taking forever though, so for no reason at all, let's also add 10 grams of sugar and give it a stir. Okay, I'm bored of waiting. So, 500 grams of bread flour, which we will place in the bowl of a stand mixer. Next, we're gonna add our milk to make the bones strong, cause of calcium or whatever. Okay, you can use warmed water if you're intolerant of cows and their byproducts. Next, we add a bit of fat. I'm going for 20 grams of either olive oil or butter. I'm going with olive oil here because these are going to be some hoagies, and that requires a certain rigidity that I tend to achieve more consistently from oil over butter, but honestly, what do I know? Speaking of texture, we're also adding 8 grams of vital wheat gluten, my secret ingredient for all bready goods. Once it's a little more mixed, we can add salt too, 8 grams. We don't want to slow down Mr. Yeast, and he's very susceptible to salty YouTube comments, so we do have to wait to put in the salt. Okay, I'm bored, and this is smooth and well mixed, so I'm gonna get my hands a little involved here and need for 5-10 to 10 minutes on low to medium low hand speed. She's a beaut, Captain, but can she handle the rise? Oi, she can. That she can. Cover it and let it rise for 1 hour, then it's into the fridge to cold proof overnight and up to 48 hours. This is for flavor, not structure, so do what feels right, follow your butt. When you are ready to bake, you want to pull these out of the fridge so they can come up to room temperature. The boiler, Captain, she's critically low! Hold her steady just a little further. Your obsession is gonna be your downfall, Captain, unless it's not. Divide these into four to six evenly sized balls, then roll them out flat and curl them in on themselves widthwise so that they form nice loggy shapes with tucked in ends. Place them on a tray or something, score, and cover to let them proof for one last time for about 30 to 45 minutes. We're in the home stretch, lads. I can feel it in my bones. We'll find that white whale yet. Is that what we're looking for down here? Now's as good a time as any to preheat your oven as hot as it'll go, likely around 500 degrees Fahrenheit, and place a pizza stone or similar item into the oven to preheat. Once you're ready, grab a paddle, sprinkle generously with some cornmeal, plop a sub on there, and get it in the oven. Note, you can optionally add a tray of hot water in the oven on the rack under the pizza stone to let the steam help the dough poof up. Captain, I don't know how much more she can take. She needs a steady hand. Don't give up on her now. After 10 minutes, we're gonna brush them with an egg wash so we can get that nice golden sheen from Jimmy Neutron. Ultra Lord would never let us down. Let them cook for four to six more minutes, then let them cool completely, possibly overnight if you can handle that, before slicing and creating your subs, which we're covering in a few other episodes, which you can check out right after this, or some other time. Wink. Captain, why did you eat the sub? Too late I realized the obsession I should have had was the friends we made along the way. That doesn't answer my question. Those voices are hard to do.